Hello and welcome back to Sotlock. You may remember back in video 7 that I have this Zone Series 27 combination padlock. But what I don't have is I don't have a reset key for this combination lock. And therefore I'm un unable to reset the combination. So I went out and I bought another master lock, combination lock with a reset key, which you can see here on the left hand side. And you can see the reason why this key doesn't work compared to a picture I've got here of the K175, which is a reset key for the 175 master lock combination lock. What you can see here is this bitting is a lot shallower than the bitting that for the key that I've got. Not only that, but this bitting is further up the key. Let's just tap this. The bitting is further up the key than this. So I was lucky enough to be loaned a bunch of keys and told to pick up a, a key off of here that I might be able to make a reset key for. So the key that I've selected is this one. So I'm hoping that I'm going to use this portion of the key as my bitting far away this bit, which will give me this shallow piece of bitting further up the key. So that's my plan. That's what I want to do. So my first plan of attack is to file away the front two bits here, here and here, to be enable that to get into that key slot. So let's see how that goes, and I'll uh, get back to you on that. Hello and welcome back. It's been two months since I um, shot that first segment, uh, what with uh, Christmas, New Year and everything. Um, so where did I get to with an effector and a reset key for this Zone Series 27? Well, this is what I ended up with. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the same key I started off with. I've just filed bits away and cut bits away. My intention was, was to... Um, file a little bit away and then record where I got to but um, I've only got uh, one dining table it would have meant I would have to set up the um, the vice and the saws and then pack it all the way to record and then do the same thing over and over and over again um, so I didn't do that and to be honest once I started uh, I got a bit enthusiastic and uh, didn't stop all evening so this is the uh, key Let's see if it uh, works. So let's set this. So the shackle needs to be open to be able to insert the key. So the key fits in there like that. And this should enable me to set a combination so let's set a combination of 15 uh, undo the key scrub up those last two digits put that back in and then see if we can unset it If we can set it back to 15, it's difficult to do this on camera without knocking into the camera. So there we go. That should be 15. And now I can release it. So what I did want to share to you is uh, how I came up with the dimensions of this key so I use something really high tech like a sharpie 
a broken lock pick and a old part of a windscreen wiper. So the first thing I had to ascertain was how deep this pin is and you can see the mark on there so if I can put this in the slot and push down on the pin you can see it goes down that far. Now this gave me the dimension for the length of the key. So that's how I got to the length of the key. So how did I know where to position this bit in? Well, this is where the old windscreen wiper comes in. I put a little hook on the end of it and I inserted that into the lock. Now obviously there's a cavity in here that allows that bit of, for that bit in. So I pushed this piece of wire all the way into the lock and that gave me my first mark. And then I pulled it back against the lock which gave me my second mark. So that gave me the size of a cavity reference to this edge so I transferred that over to the key so you can see where my first mark lines up and you can see where my second line lines up and that gave me the position of that bit in and I knew the height of that bit in because I knew that it had to fit into this keyway. So I now have a working key. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to decode it. And that is going to be the third part of this series on this zone series 27. Thank you for watching uh, Salt and Lock. Um, if you could uh, like, uh, comment, or ring that notification bell, it does help a small channel like mine. Thank you very much.